Hey guys, today we're back for what will probably be the final tutorial that I'm going to be doing for ChemSketch unless someone has a specific question or something that they uh, need. So today we're going to be looking at exporting all those nice drawings that you're doing and getting those into Word or PowerPoint or whichever software you're using for your report. So let's get started. All right, welcome back. I'm going to start us out in the file that we've been using and the, for the things that we've already drawn. So we can just look at how we can get these items out of here and into uh, Microsoft Word. And I'm going to show you three different ways to do it. And there's advantages and disadvantages to each of them. Uh, of course, the, the most simple way that you can do is you can pick any object. And if you do this, uh, I want to remind you, make sure that you've grouped your items together and so they move as a unit so if you select it you get all of it and so I'm gonna I've already grouped all these together I'm going to hit control C you can also go up to edit and hit copy uh, but I went ahead and hit control C and all you have to do is just move over to Microsoft Word and you can either hit control V or you can go up here and hit paste uh, I just went ahead and hit control V because it's very quick and you'll notice that's the fastest and easiest way to get this into your report. And you can, you can click on this and you can resize it down to whatever size you want to make it, whatever works for you. Uh, now, if you're like me, uh, when I look at this, I look at it and I think, man, this is just a little bit, it's just not very crisp. And we can do the same thing for structures. I'm going to go back over here and let's get one of our structures. I'm going to hit control C. I'm going to go to word control V. Okay. Same thing for the structure. When I look at this, I'm looking at it. It's not bad, but, uh, I think it could be a little bit more crisp. Uh, so another way that you can do this is I can go to file. I can hit export and I can export this as like a JPEG or a PNG whichever one is fine. I'm going to call this caffeine. Okay. So now I can go into word and go into insert picture from device, depending on which version of word that you have, I can go into my documents. And I'll scroll down. I call that caffeine. So it's going to be all right, here we go. So now when I look at that, it inserts it as a picture and I personally don't really think it looks much better than the one that I did before. Uh, so actually from what I've seen, from my experience, there's really no advantage to export this and bring it in that way. It really just doesn't present much of an advantage. As a matter of fact, I've noticed when I zoom in that I actually feel like this method actually makes it see your O's a little off centered. You get a little more jaggedy. Uh, I actually think the exporting actually gives you a poorer quality image than if you just cut and paste it directly. So, however, if you want a, a method that actually gives you a very good, the most crisp image that you can get, uh, now I discovered this by accident. You may or may not be familiar with this, but I often use a piece of software called Inkscape. Now this is free to download. I'll put the link down there for you in case you're interested in it. And, um, it kind of looks like this. Now I'm not going to go into a whole big tutorial on Inkscape. There's a thousand videos on YouTube about how to use Inkscape. And all we're going to do is just something very, very basic. And I discovered this by accident when I was cutting and pasting structures. Uh, for a larger drawing and I was wanting to manipulate them in Inkscape. All right, if you'll hit control C and I'm going to move over to Inkscape and I'm just going to hit control V to paste, or you can also go to edit and then paste. So the one thing I noticed is once I copied it over there and I'm going to zoom in on this so you can see it better, it is much more crisp and much more clean. It automatically just cutting and pasting it into ink, Inkscape just cleans it up. So now I can take this, I can control C again, move over to my word document. 
and it'll paste it into my Word document. And you'll actually notice, uh, if you can see this closely, that I'm actually a little bit more crisp and clean than I was just cutting and pasting this directly out of ChemSketch. So if you're kind of a perfectionist and you want something that really looks nice and professional looking, uh, you can cut and paste this. You can do this method and it's going to work pretty well. You can also do this for the lab equipment. So we'll go back over. Select my apparatus here. All right, I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit for this one. And once again, it kind of cleans it up. Now, with Inkscape, you do the same thing. You can just uh, make sure you've got your little select tool clicked. Okay, I want to make sure i got everything selected. Hit Control C. Then come back over to Word and paste it in. Now, it's going to paste it in a little bit on the large side. So you can actually scale this down to get it to be the size that you want, make it, whoops, I flipped it around there, to get it to be the size that you want. Uh, so we can compare these two. And now if I zoom in, you can see that it actually cleans this up quite a bit. So it's a little bit of a more crisp, clean drawing. You can look down here at the flask. There's less kind of jaggedies around the angled lines and it's a, it's a much more cleaner presentation so if you want to take that extra step and really make it nice then that's something you can do uh, however if you just want to just cut straight out of chem sketch and paste it into either word or powerpoint or whatever document you're using then that works as well it just won't be quite as crisp and clean uh, so that's pretty much the basics of it Okay, I think that's going to do it. Uh, that's about as far as I was going to go with the Kim Sketch tutorials. Uh, if there's something in particular that you need or would like to see, if you'll just put it down in the comments below, I'll be happy to try to make a video that will cover that topic as well. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you have, uh, if this has been helpful to you, then please hit the like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in later videos.